Oil spills are absolutely devastating events. What happened in the Gulf of Mexico five years ago destroyed vast parts of that area. The Great Australian Bight is a pristine marine wilderness area and an oil spill here would be absolutely devastating. The wildlife here is almost unparalleled anywhere in the world. I mean, imagine thousands of dolphins, turtles, whales, washed up on shorelines covered in oil. I mean, these are disastrous images and that is a scenario we cannot afford to risk. It's such an overwhelming thought if there was a spill here. I think that people don't really realise the you know, capacity of the situation if that was to happen. You only have to look at any beach in South Australia to see that it's so pristine. With all the upwelling, all the storms, all the winds, it's, it's a pretty rough coastline, especially in winter. Um, it's very rarely we get glassy, windless days. We always have swells. I just can't imagine the devastation it would do to our coast and inherently the whole community of, of everywhere, not just Port Lincoln, but Air Peninsula, York Peninsula, into the Bight, into down near Adelaide and the Flurio. No one would be able to do, go about their life the way that they do now. People would entirely lose their jobs, that the industries would be lost. If there's no ocean, there's no fish, no tourism industry. And obviously, we're not gonna surf in oil slick water. It would, it would ruin that aspect for a lot of people. The Great Australian Bight is one of the last remaining, you know, pristine places in Australia that humans haven't destroyed yet. I hope that it never is destroyed. I think that the Australian government, more than anyone, should protect this area. The ocean is why everyone lives here, especially in Port Lincoln. It's like what we rely on for work, like the happiness of ourselves surfing and diving and everything. Campaigns like this one, but more importantly, Outcomes like what we've just seen, with BP deciding to pull out of the bite, only happen through massive support of people right across Australia and in fact right across the world. And this work is not possible unless we stand up as a community and say no, enough. This is a line in the sand moment. We can't put the Great Australian Bight, one of the most magnificent marine wilderness areas, at risk.